after two weeks of the season, I completely wrote off the AFC South. And apparently that's a mistake because now this weekend, the marquee game in the NFL is the only game featuring two teams, the winning record, shockingly, two teams in the AFC South. The Titans hosting the Colts is the lone game featuring two teams, the winning record in the NFL. Help me out of this. How is this the only game featuring two teams, the winning record? And what do you think about this battle in the AFC South? I think it's gargantuan. Thank you. I think it's enormous. This is going to be epic. Yes. Or, or maybe it tells us that we overreacted early on with the Titans uh, relative to the division. Okay. I don't think anybody overreacted to the Titans relative to the playoffs. They're not going anywhere in the playoffs. I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry, Paul. No, don't be sorry. sorry. You're dead on. Neither the, n- okay. No one in the t- division will. Right. Right. And so it's, it's, it's going to be a, an interesting game. Um, one thing I found out at the owners meetings, I should, I, I should, I'm just spilling guts here. Um, so the Colts got rid of Carson Wentz uh, after last season, right? After they went and lost to Jacksonville, was eliminated from the playoffs. And of course they decided we're moving on from Carson Wentz. And it looked bad for Frank Reich because Frank Reich had coached Carson Wentz in Philadelphia and had been big on bringing him to Indianapolis to be, you know, his quarterback again after their, you know, unified success in Philadelphia. Everybody thought, well, Frank Reich, after one year, he dipped on Carson Wentz. Uh, Someone told me that wasn't the case, that it wasn't Frank Reich who uh, dipped on Hmm. Carson Wentz, that it was, in fact, ownership, Jim Ursay, who no longer wanted Carson Wentz as his quarterback. So Reich would have kept him, you're saying? That's exactly what I'm saying. Thank you for helping me there. Bigger, more indictment. Well, now he's finally got Ryan throwing the football well. Well, I say finally. They did it for one game. You know, that was different. We haven't seen that yet. They protected their quarterback for the first time, and he threw for nearly 400 yards. We'll see what happens at Nissan Stadium on Sunday.